This year's Crawford Prize in Biosciences celebrates the discovery of the smallest photosynthetic organism in the world. In the mid-1980s, Sally Chisholm and her colleagues they brought a new instrument, the flow cytometer, out on the oceans to directly study the microorganisms in the water. And they found a weak signal, which first they thought was a mistake, but later on they, they realized that this was the signal of the world's most abundant photosynthetic organism. With this discovery, we now know a lot more about how the oceans work. We know the size distribution of where things happen. We know that a lot is at a very small microbial scale. You find a hundred million of it in every liter of seawater at most, and it produces as much organic matter as all the croplands of the world. Imagine the, the forests of the north, the, the taiga throughout North America and Eurasia, or imagine the uh, tropical forests of, of the Amazon. This organism covers even greater areas where it totally dominates the primary production of organic matter in the water. In addition, Sally Chisholm also contributes to the solution to one of our time's biggest challenges, which is how to manage our seas in a sustainable way. So these little microscopic organisms carry out a heavy duty they have a fantastically important role. And of course, the more we know about phytoplankton is very important for understanding the e marine ecosystems, but also the balance of element fluxes uh, on a global scale, including carbon, nitrogen and phosphorus fluxes that determines the productivity of aquatic environments, but also on land. And one of the key components of these enormous oceanic ecosystems are uh, Prochlorococcus, which Sally Chisholm discovered. Prochlorococcus thrive and grow best in subtropical and tropical areas where the water temperatures are a bit elevated and offshore, so in the, away from the nutrient-rich coastal areas. So uh, microscopic phytoplankton or algae are very small and uh, Prochlorococcus is invisible to the naked eye and it's also difficult to see with a microscope. But I have some picture here that shows a drop of seawater. We can see crustaceans swimming around eating phytoplankton and small single cell organisms. These uh, crustaceans are about one-tenth of a millimeter and the cyanobacteria in, in this picture are the smallest, smallest dots that we can barely make out that twinkle like stars in the sky. In addition to her fundamental research, Sally Chisholm has written a series of children's books telling about her findings about the ocean ecosystem to younger generations.